hello welcome welcome um so i was thinking i don't really give you guys a collective name do you want a collective name i know some people like beautiful watchers some call them poppets some you know just say hey gang or hey kids i'm just kind of loosey-goosey and like hey it's me michelle welcome thanks for watching do the do the like share subscribe stuff if you want to if you enjoy this video and please do stick around for the rest of the video um uh, so quick thing i mentioned it in my last classic box set because that one just down there and i know not everyone watches the um both the classic and the wizardry um i a while ago i, I lost my job um which, you know it happens it's because you know, of the because of the covid um and yeah uh, there's a few people were let go because of basically we stayed open and then we were making stuff and then not getting paid for it like we were getting paid as employees but the company wasn't getting paid for the product they were making um so yeah obviously at some point the money runs out and uh, some people you have to make some hard choices but they did say they'd give me a really good um, re reference and that i can reapply once whatever is the new normal is in place and my glasses are smudgy i just realized i'm slightly glary oh so yeah that's that's how i'm I was upset, obviously, as you would be, but I've got myself sorted out. I've been um, getting my cross stitch on. I've made uh, made this recently. Uh, I'm, I'm currently working on another bracelet. I did have an idea for making like a few of these bracelets, maybe for selling, but I I'm trouble having trouble finding like because these are this is I bought as a kit. I'm having trouble finding like just the band. Like just a strip, a thin band that I could like add my own colours to, because um, every time I try and find like look up bracelet accessories for like cross stitch and that, um, I keep getting leather cuffs and, and stuff, and I'm like, I don't want leather. I just want a small, flexible band that I can do my own, you know, colour pattern. I'm just gonna like simple stripes, but you know, so I can do my own thing. But anyway, so that's all that. Um, I'm going to introduce you a new footer in. This is Flame. Um, I got her from Tesco. Say hello, Flame. Uh, she's uh, like a couple of years old according to her she came with a tag that had a birthday on it um, so she's just a wee bin but she you know she's a friend for forks so yeah got two two little phoenixes now so you know all on brand um so yeah so i've got <laughs> forks is drunk um i think he's i think forks got into the uh fire water again you can say that you rest and then obviously a little flame can go there so yeah that's that's kind of what's been happening with me recently um but i hope you're all well anyway that's that's enough of preambly waffle we have a wizardry box let us see what is in it um it's not the heaviest but it's like some weight over to one side so i can't remember what the because this should be the a the, the May box. I've forgotten what the hints were because I don't really look at the hints. I have no idea what's occurring. So we'll just open it up and see. Ooh, I like the t-shirt. Worm dudes everywhere. They changed the shade of blue for the worm dudes. Okay, let me have a look. Oh, they seem to be um, leaning towards these like smaller corner designs for the t-shirts. I think that's a new make of t-shirts. Well, it feels different. Anyway, um, so we've got Luna and stuff, and I love my Luna. Uh, lost. Alright, so there's like a list of lost things. Her wand, her glasses, things. So it's um, a pocket. So yeah, you wear it as like a little pocket design. So that's quite cute. Um, except I'm sure my pocket was... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was that side. So yeah, that's that's very sweet, like very minimalist. I like that. Oh, I'm just gonna tidy that up. So yeah, we're already into a winner with the t-shirt because hey, who doesn't love some Luna? Uh, we have a poster art print. I'll go with the poster. I'll, I'll do that now. Because the posters are either really awesome or sometimes meh. But the artwork's usually good, but it depends on how enthusiastic you are for the subject. And it's gonna be wizardry. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we've got Voldy and Nagini looking very anemic. Um, both of them are quite anemic actually. And then just like some cool kind of backgroundy stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of neat. 
I'm gonna put that somewhere. It doesn't. It looks like it's maybe based more on book folding rather than like uh, Ray Fines. Um, but that's cool. I can't make out the signature. Um, but likely it's gonna be one of the community artists because they've been doing that a lot recently. So um, we'll find out uh, who they are when we have a look at the the cheat sheet. Oops. Um, but yeah, that's really neat. I like that. I do like the fact they've been putting them in poster tubes and keeping everything nice. So there we go. We've got a couple of interesting looking items. I'm going to go with this one first. So, mirror error said. I don't know if it's going to be like a replication of the mirror or, or something else. Probably just like a mini mini mirror. Oh, yeah. Um, so let me just pop that out. Oh, uh, so unlike the um, the mirror we had recently for Hermione's hand mirror, this one actually doesn't have any protective film on it. So, uh, yay, recursion! And there's my little light. So there you go. That's in case you're wondering, uh, ever wondered. That's myself. It is literally uh, my phone on a, a small tripod I got from Amazon, um, and a little selfie light. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that, that's that's my setup, and this one is actually uh, got a thingy, so you can actually have it freestanding. That's very cute. I like that. Um, so yeah, mirror, 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 standing in the corner. So what do I desire? Mm, don't know. Can't tell. But anyway, that's very cute. I like that. Pretty box. And what do we got? That's. Uh, that's the cheat sheets. We'll put that to one side for a moment. We have something else in them. Oh, 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 I remember now. Oh, I remember now. Okay, yeah. So I remember one of the clues was Umbridge. And I was like, what, we're going to get something pink or strange or whatever. So this is obviously, you know, the Umbridge box. And given the scene they've decided to show us and the size of them and what I can feel, I think this is going to be like a small kitten plate or saucer or something and if it is that's gonna be really cute okay before i open it up do you think it's just gonna be a flat image of a cat or do you think it'd be like um lenticular you know the the flicky the flicker sticker type picture guesses ideas comments let's find out probably not gonna be a flicker sticker because that would be too clever but it'd be cute if they did and nope uh, it looks like it's just plastic, not ceramic. Yeah, it's plastic. It's not. A, it's not a flicker sticker, which would have been a cute trick if they did that. But it's just a cute little fluffer. And the thing is, okay, so we all know what this is. We know what it means. But if you just see that, like next to this, and with all the other stuff, you, you think, why is that? If you didn't know the Harry Potter movies enough, you'd think, why is that next? You know, in the display cabinet with that. It's a bit incongruent, but um, see, I've already smudged my mirror. This is why they should have kept the film on it. Um, but yeah, so um, this is very cute. He's a cute little kitty. Um, oh, if you if you've never done the um, the Potter tour, um, then I would recommend it. Uh, obviously, once people are actually allowed to go places again. Um, one of my favourite factoids uh, about um, this scene with all the cats in the plates and that is that apparently they just got a whole bunch of kittens that were rescue or from various places um they just filmed them for a few minutes doing like whatever they wanted to do like give them a prop or something to see how they interacted with it and then um they made sure all the cats were adopted out afterwards so that i think that's one of my favorite stories that i learned from doing the potter tour so yay so this this little kitty has a happy home somewhere um pin badge Ooh. okay so I'll show you the back and see if you can guess what it is. It's very shiny, I like it. Let me just unwrap it because otherwise the reflection will be all over the place. There you go. So what do you think that is? And it is constant vigilance! Um, because I... I like the performance of Mad-Eye um, that... Uh, I Donald Gate, I can't remember his, his name, but yeah, I, I like the performance he gave. I was a little disappointed with David Tennant coming out the very soon because I like David Tennant, I really enjoy him as an actor, but they basically had him being too manic, where everything we've heard about Veritaserum 
means you're supposed to be more monotone and flat and I think they kind of overdid that. Also, um, what do you think about them having written out Winky from that story? Because, you know, she she had a big part to play. Even if you don't have all the spew stuff, you still have Winky there. Um, but yeah, that is very neat. I like that. Cons, tant, vigil, ants. I always like to break it up. So there we go. That's very neat. I like a good pin. And it looks like we've got some kind of other art thing. Looks a bit... This one's a bit different. Oh! Oh! I wonder if this is going to be a thing. So, Most Potent Potions Chapter 6. Uh, sorry, uh, 16, the Polyjuice Potion. Probably brewed the Polyjuice... Oh, sorry. Um, probably brewed the Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to transform themselves temporarily into a physical form of another. Fill a fortified leaded cauldron with the following ingredients. 12 lacewing flies, 1 ounce of crude um, atinomy, um 4 leeches unsucculated, 16 scrupple of flux weed, whatever scrupple is, um, 3 drams of pulverised sal ammoniac, uh, not grass blaze, pulverised, <clears throat> 1 pinch of powdered horn of bicorn, lunar extraction, uh, fillings and rasplings of salpeter, mercury and mars, shrewd sling skin of boomslang, desiccated, extract the transfig uh extract of the transfigured transfigured being to be, so hair or whatever. Uh harvest the flux weed at the full moon and soak in urine. Add the lace wing flies um by Dracum and the knot grass, stir in the boomslang, add a scalp scalpeter to the cauldron taste potion uh hold on to taste potion will have a, a mercury texture add leeches and stew for 21 days add the remaining ingredients except the extract so there you go now we know how to make um polyjuice potion which i think yeah now i'm thinking about was one of the other clues because i thought was it going to be like a bottle because we've had some of those um so this is interesting i'm gonna i'll be curious to see if they continue with like making more like art cards of like potions recipes um one i think i think that would be neat uh do you have thoughts would you want to see like a whole bunch of recipe cards for various potions because that's kind of a fun idea um so yeah there we go uh just got my <sighs> lucky scratch card to oh oh hello oh so i thought um, they had stopped doing the charms for a bit because the um, charm factory was um, out for COVID. They had, you know, people weren't coming in. So I, I didn't see it in there. So I thought, oh, okay, um, probably not doing the charm, not catching up the charms. But no, no, we, we have a new charm, uh, which looks like either a quill or like a phoenix feather or something. Let me just pop it out properly. It's a feather of some kind, but whether it's supposed to represent a quill or specifically phoenix feather or something, um, maybe the book, will, maybe the cheat sheet will tell us. Ah, chicken. Woo, there it goes. So we do actually have a charm this week. Um, we'll see, yeah, very shiny. You can see some of the feathering detail on there. So there we go. We we have we actually have a charm this week as well. That's there, so don't get lost. Uh, where is it? I did. I found my um thingy. Oh, there we go. I'll use that to scratch it off. <coughs> So yeah, um, I'm just going to do my queen, sorry, that's an extreme close up, I apologise. There we go. I don't know why this one has such a weird scratch off that you can't just, you know, scratch off with anything. Uh, probably better luck next time, I my luck. Uh, no win. Right, so I didn't win that. So let's see what the cheat sheet says. Get a code for next month and uh, see who the person of the month is because it's no longer me. Uh, what we got? Uh, thank you from all of the Geek Gear for subscribing to the Geek Gear Wizardry box. We hope you enjoyed the, every single item. Yes, actually, I did. And if you saw the classic, you'll see that I was, I found it a bit meh. Um, uh, we hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, basically, thank you. Exclusive Luna Lost um, found t-shirt <coughs> exclusive umbridge cat plate replica now question and i will check out potter poppets video do you think everyone got the same design or do you think there's a few different designs to make it more collectible 
Thoughts? Um, exclusive Mirror of Erised replica. Lord Voldemort community art, artwork, art, artist artwork. Yes, so it was the artist. This stunning artwork was brought to you by Milton Castro. Show Milton some love on Instagram at Milton. Right, Rafael, Rafael, Rafael Castro as M I L T O N R A F A E L C A S T R O. So um, yeah, if you, if you thought that was an interesting style, you can you can check that out there. Um, exclusive, exclusive apologies post and recipe page replica like that. Exclusive Mad Eye Moody pin, got it. And the um, yeah, just it just says feather charm, so it doesn't say necessarily if it's a quill or phoenix or a specific bird like an owl. Um, so uh, the people of the month are the KD Adventurers. So they look they look like a charming couple. Or it could be bro and sis, but they look more like probably we're well, just friends. They look like fun people, um, so feel free to check them out there. Um, and clue that looks like Harry chasing the charmed key. So I don't know if it's supposed to be you know specifically for the sorcerer's stone or for him his flying skills, or we're going to get a, a key of some description. Um, yeah, so that's. That's kind of cool. Looking forward to that. Uh, best item. I like... I mean, it's quite a simple design, but I like this as a concept. And like I said, I'd be, I'd be happy if they continued this as like various different recipes, potion recipes and that. Um, that I think would be a fun as a collectible. So conceptually, I like this and the artwork's kind of fun. Um, bestest item. I do like... The pins are very nice. And that's one I might wear because I've got a whole collection of pins and some of them I haven't really worn. I could see me wearing this one just for lols. Um, I am enjoying the charm collection. I'm I'm glad they've managed to keep that going again. The mirror is so cute and it's really well done. It's it's got some thickness to it as well. So that I like. Uh, and you know I love me some Luna. So the t-shirt also is also going to be a win for me. I don't think I have a best item. Um, they're all really good. Uh, if I had to choose. Maybe the t-shirt, but I have millions. I think the mirror. I think the mirror is kind of like, this is really neat and well done and, and, and very cute. Um, and probably the pin and, and, and the charm. And the plate's really cute. And I like, they're all good. I can't choose. The plate's cute. Actually, when I was younger, I used to, <clears throat> this might be me showing my age now, but used to get like in the magazines, like, oh, buy these plates. We'll get these collectible plates. And obviously I was a kid, didn't have the money, couldn't afford them that my parents would get them. So I used to cut out just the pit, the adverts and the pictures. So I used to have all these essentially paper plates um, that I'd kept cut out and kept because I thought the pictures were pretty. Um, so this is kind of because I've never, never actually had a collection of plates, you know, that were like collectible ones. So for, for the childhood um, nostalgia for my, for my personal thing, like, this one's quite cute. So maybe that one. I don't know. They're all good. All right. I'm definitely going to waffle mine now. When I first started doing videos and first started, to, you know, put myself out there, I sent a few little trial videos to a friend of mine and said, hey, what do you think of this? I said, this is all right. Your diction's quite well. You know, maybe speak up a little here and breathe. And I said, is that your polite way of telling me to slow down? So if I do get rambly, I guess maybe it's nerves, maybe it's excitement, but I am aware also that I get rambly and that sometimes I'm going too fast, which is why you, you'll sometimes see me go, <sighs> and then. So yeah, um, thank you if you have been for watching. I do appreciate you all coming in and viewing. Um, feel free to you know add add your your thumbs um, and comment and like <clears throat> like I said. Um, do, do you think we've we've all got the same plate or do you think maybe maybe there's something different um do you, do you have a favorite preferred um item have you ever checked out any of the artists because i'll be honest with you i haven't um but I, I do keep all the um the cheat sheets so i can look them up um so yeah just or, or, or how are you just just say hey um that's always nice as well um definitely into ramble mode now so i'm gonna say if you have been thanks for watching you're awesome and i appreciate you I've been Michelle, you've been listening. Have a good one, stay safe, look after each other. Black Lives Matter. Bye. Love you all. Bye.